Welcome to this episode of Moving Our World. Let's go get the airport train from Sawanapum, BKK, airport in Bangkok. There's two airports here, uh, Don Muang, and this one here, which is Sawanapum, which is my favorite out of the two. So the train is down. We've got to go down to, I think, the basement floor. You can usually buy tickets with cash. Uh, the machines, last time I came, there were heaps of coin operated machines and a couple that would accept notes. I hate coins, so surely they'll have some of those machines to help me out. Airport Rail Link, it's part of the BTS system, kind of. So the Airport Rail Link goes into the city with a whole bunch of stops, but it terminates at a place called Payatai in Bangkok, which is another bit of the BTS stations on one of the main lines. So it takes you all the way into the center of the city, you get off the train, and then you jump onto another train if you need to, or get other transport from there. So that's the process, a quick summary of what we're doing. There's the taxi ranks all there. It's a system where you go out and get a ticket. They have to charge you by the meter. If they try and negotiate with you for a different price, don't let it happen. Don't agree to it. Use the meter. The meter's generally quite cheap. 7-Eleven just in here as well. So if you've got any got big notes, you need to change them or exchange them. Oi. Yeah, over there, 7-Eleven. So here's the machine. You've got Thai and you've got English as well. We'll slam it into English. We're going to pay your tie, one person, 45 baht. There we go. Yes! It accepted it. So that's 45 baht. You get this, and then you get all your change in coins. And by the looks of it, there is no express anymore, still. We've got our ticket. So you take your little ticket and just tap your coin here. And we're good to go train just arrived so I probably missed it but that's all right I don't mind a little bit of a wait we go down the next floor that's the beeping of the doors closing oh did I okay we made it and it's actually quite empty I even got a seat. Sweet, so now we're on. I think we've got like seven stops. I'll talk to you soon. And that's it, we're out of the train. So there was seven stations, six stations. And what I try to do is work my way through this crowd because I hate them all. Not the people, I hate all crowds. All right, time to exit the station. So I've got my red coin, and this time we make it disappear. When I get to the BTS, I'm gonna get a, uh, a rabbit card, which is kind of their prepaid card. So instead of having to line up and buy a ticket every single time you get on the train, you just tap it and go. Anyone can get one. You just need to hand over your passport. ครับครับเอาสู่ได้บัตรคาร์ดนะครับบัตรคาร์ดเอ่อดิสคาร์ดใช้ได้บัตรครับเดชคาร์ดใช้ได้บัตรครับเดชคาร์ดใช้ได้
thousand mark I just paid, which is about 45.50 New Zealand dollars. That's 100 for the card and 900 with the credit. Pay your tie station. Pay your tie station. Rabbit card. When you come to the train, you line up either side. Here or there, and then let the flow of traffic come out. So hot. And I'm exhausted and hungry. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten since 8.30 this morning. Actually, I lie. I did have a uh, pot of cup noodles at the airport. It's a massive liar. The train's taking a while to come. The one coming the other way is going to come first. It's coming from a place called Una Sawari, which is Victory Monument. All electric. And here comes my one down in the distance, which you probably can't see yet, but this is your ticket to freedom. Get one of these, save time, stop using coins every single time you go to the BTS. If you've been to Thailand a lot and you live here, you'll be like, of course, Callum, of course you get a rabbit card. Look, this is not intended for you. I think Bangkok gets ignored because people are scared of it because it's so big. And if you come from a country like New Zealand, you've never experienced a city this big before. Sometimes you haven't traveled much and uh, people just disappear and kind of like skip it by or have a terrible time and never want to come back. And that's not what it's about. So rabbit card in the pocket. Train's pretty full. I'm going to put my mask back on. And we're going to get on the train and then I'll talk to you again once we are at my station. So I wait for everyone to get off and then make my way. And we've got a place to lean against, which is good. All right, see you soon. All right, we out. Now we go to exit three and I walk to where I'm staying, which I know because I've stayed there before. And I'm not going to show you that. So this is the end, almost, of my Skytrain adventure. What I will show you is the final part. I keep thinking I've lost my ticket, but I haven't. You might have seen the fear in my eyes just then. So 877, I had 900 on there. Let's do the math together. 23 baht, not bad at all. So yeah, cheapest way to travel around the city. Just get comfortable using it. You can't really get too lost, because if you're lost, get off at that station, go around and jump off and go back the other way. Anyway, that's how to get into Bangkok City for the cheapest price possible. In total, that cost me uh, 60, something but I can't remember how much the train was less than 70 I think which is goddamn cheap so I'll uh, see you next time thank you so much for watching this episode of moving our world